you need to cancel out that little voice in your head that keeps telling you that you can't achieve something. You are not worth something. You can't get something. You don't have the capability to do something. You need to silence that little voice in your head. Let's talk about 2024 in the most beautiful way ever. Your 2024 will be your best year. It will be the year that you can confidently say, I did it. God did it. I achieved everything that I wanted to achieve. It will be your best year yet it will be the year where you have stability where you have clarity where you have true healing your mindset will help you open up your year in the most beautiful way ever guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel as you seen by the title we're going to talk about how to make 2024 your best year how to achieve everything you have set out for 2024 in 2024 how to make 2024 the year of your dreams how to make 2024 the year that you go out there and you get every single thing that you have set out to get now without further ado let's just jump right into the video having the opportunity to see a new year is an opportunity to do things differently it's an opportunity for a fresh start it's an opportunity for a new book the way you start your year pretty much sets the tone for the rest of your year you always need to start with the right intention you always need to start knowing exactly what you want to do for that year or you're just going to walk into it blindly now i have a couple steps that i want to talk to you guys about in this video i have a couple things that are mandatory for you to do moving into this new year especially when you want to make the year the best year of your life first thing i want to talk to you guys about is theming your year i've spoken about themes and eras when i spoke about how to rebrand or reinvent yourself i always tell myself like what do i want to feel like or what woman am i trying to you know create or unravel what era do i want to be in for this new season or this new phase of my life last year for instance was my travel girl and true healing year every single month except for like two or three months in the year 2023 i was in a different country i was somewhere living my best life and that was exactly the goal for the year in terms of healing there were certain areas which i haven't discussed on this channel and i don't think i'll ever discuss that was holding me back and i was really afraid to touch for so many years but they had significant roles to play in my life i think there were just areas that were too scary for me to dabble into i told myself the beginning of 2023 i was going to clean that area and i I did clear up so it was a year well accomplished so when i tell you guys 2023 was my best year these are the things i'm talking about i even celebrated it because it was that huge for me in my life themes always help you have your head in a certain direction and unless it's a fun exercise to take or to do in your life because the more you talk about it the more you play with it the more you label yourself that you unconsciously work towards being that or doing that so if i say i'm in my soft girl era or in my money era in my healthy era that would mean that i would actually have to do those healthy things or live a soft life or chase the bag we all have a list of things that we want to achieve we have certain things that are more important than others i want you to look at the things that are more important on your list and create a theme from that but the first thing that i would definitely recommend that you do right now is theme your year what era are you in that's what you should be thinking about right now a shout out to today's sponsor skillshare i'm always excited to work with skillshare because you know i personally love the platform i have recommended skillshare even before i started working with them if you guys have not heard of skillshare you're living on their work because i've spoken about skillshare for years on years skillshare is an online learning platform for creatives with thousands of classes that are led by professionals from different industries i am telling you design arts and craft cooking entrepreneurship software content creation social media marketing any industry you're trying to get skill from get knowledge from learn improve pick up a new skill you want to learn a new language i definitely recommend skillshare currently i'm learning a language i'm learning french that's one of my 2024 goals and i've started learning with kieran ball on the platform and it's been amazing they have simplified classes for languages and that's one of my biggest goals i'll let you guys know how it goes at the end of the year but i really want to be fluent in french it's a new year we're talking about goals being a better you improving your skills picking 
picking up new skills learning a business learning arts and craft improving yourself as a human being so you're able to achieve the most from yourself in 2024 this is the perfect opportunity for you to get on that path skillshare has implemented the learning path on the platform which i think is a genius idea learning path is pretty much hand-picked classes that are supposed to be taken in order they pretty much build up on one another and it ranges from different levels from beginner to advanced what this means is they've made it two times easier for you to be a professional any skill that you're trying to improve on they have compiled classes that you could take one after the other so you know the next phase of what you're supposed to learn for that particular skill i love that they thought of the idea of putting together classes more or less like in a bundle so you're able to take those classes from one stage to another and as you complete each stage you improve further you become a pro definitely i wouldn't bring something to your table without giving you a bit more a little bit more like the icing on the cake i always say that whenever i talk about these things now the first five hundred people to use my link which is going to be linked down below and also on the screen will get their first month completely free this is not even a percentage of this is the first month free we have to do better we will gain skills we'll improve our skills we're going to make a lot of money this year 2024 and no better time to start than now like january of the new year okay so go down below it is definitely linked for your disposal go there click start using skillshare today. Now, the second thing i want to talk about is your goals and not just your goals because we speak about goals on this channel but explicit goals i realize that a lot of people have goals a lot of people have dreams a lot of people have aspirations right but they cannot differentiate between what's a goal what's a dream what's an aspiration what it means in your life and what you should actually be working on or working towards in this time like your present time some people just say okay my dream is to own a house or my dream is to have a car that is your dream but that's not necessarily your goal your goals are pretty much the things that you want explicitly detailed i want a three-bedroom house in texas i want a toyota camry 2024 red desert you need to have your goals laid out in details having that general sense of like i want to eventually have this wouldn't give you the push to work towards that but once you have your goals written out in detail it'll be easy for you to be like okay to be able to start this business i would need xyz amount okay how can i get xyz amount i need to work this job save this pull investment from this take a loan from this i have a goal and this is the goal and this is what i'm going to do to get to that goal and that's what we're going to be doing differently in 2024 you're not just going to dream big you're going to actually dream big but be detailed about that dream that would open up the steps that you need to take and follow to achieve that dream now the third thing that is very important that you should do for the year 2024 is to address and approach your limiting beliefs about yourself your life your goals and pretty much anything that concerns you and i say this because limiting beliefs are the devil there are things that could definitely hold you back keep you from getting your goals from achieving your goals from doing more with yourself you have written down these goals and you have been so detailed you have the picture so clear right in front of you your limiting beliefs will creep in if you don't address them and approach them attack them hold them by the neck and keep pressing them until they die if you don't do that it will creep in and start telling you how it's impossible to achieve number two three and four in the year 2024 your limiting beliefs will begin to ask you do you think you have the capability to save xyz amount do you think you have the capability to move by yourself to a whole different country do you think you have the capability to actually get an apartment yourself or buy a house in 2024 do you think you have it in you to be a business owner? Do you think you have the capability to detox in your life and get rid of these toxic people when you yourself, you're toxic? How can you deal with that? It's your limiting beliefs that will cause you to self-sabotage and doubt yourself every single day. Your mindset, your thoughts, the things you say to yourself. I have said this and I'm going to say this again. The things you say to yourself, how you speak to yourself, the things you think about, the things you consume, they play a huge role in how you your life goals what happens in your life how your mind is wired how things come to you that's why i talk about detoxing in your life removing things and people that don't serve you i've told you even if it's the tiniest thing like throwing away gifts or deleting pictures deleting contact is essential you might see it as doing too much it is not because there are certain things that could be holding you back you could be doing so well and then you take your phone go through your camera roll and then see pictures that will just take you back to the very beginning when you want to move forward in life you need to leave some 
things behind. Speak light and love into your life. I say this to everyone and anyone that cares to listen. What you say from your mouth when you open your mouth should always be for your good. Limiting beliefs will have you questioning yourself as you're writing down these goals when you're thinking about 2024. Your limiting beliefs will begin to creep in and tell you, oh, this one you're putting $10,000 as savings for the end of the year. Where do you want to get it from? Your brain will begin to tell you, how are you going to get it done? With which job? Where do you want to see it from? That's not the kind of mindset that you want. So when you have those limiting beliefs, you need to address them. You need to pick it and be like, look, this is a new year. I will not let negative thoughts creep in and hold me back from achieving or getting the things that I want to get. Your mind is essential for your growth. Your thoughts are essential for your growth. Addressing negative thoughts, limiting beliefs, negative self-talk will help you sit comfortably in your goals, your needs, your wants, your aspirations, your dreams. You need to cancel out that little voice in your head that keeps telling you that you can't achieve something, you are not worth something, you can't get something, you don't have the capability to do something. You need to silence that little voice in your head. The next thing that you're going to be doing for the year 2024 is a vision board. Pretty sure you saw this coming because there's absolutely no way we're starting a new year without a vision board. I've spoken about vision board a million times times on this channel vision boards are essential they're essential for beginning your year or for starting any project or any phase or any era in your life because you are able to visualize everything that you just wrote down the things that you explicitly wrote down the things that you detailed out that you want for 2024 sis I need you to take Canva because that's what I use, okay? They are not sponsoring me. I actually wish they were sponsoring me, but I just use them religiously for pretty much everything. Even for my thumbnails, I use Canva to create my thumbnails. What I do for Canva, I think they also have digital products that you could also use to create all of these, but honestly, the easiest one for me is Canva. Just go there, take pictures of these various things that you have written down that, as your goals for 2024. Whatever picture that represents what you have penned down, I want you to piece them together and make like a nice collage like just stick them together and what i always advise and if you're an og on this channel from years years ago i always say save that in different sizes as your laptop wallpaper as your phone wallpaper home screen whatever i usually have mine as my home screen and with the latest iphones you know you could have different um i forget what they call it different interface i don't know if that's what call it and you could just switch it out for me i always have my vision board there like i wake up I open it, I look at it. Sometimes if I want privacy, let's say I'm stepping out, obviously with the new iOS, you can always switch it. But I always have that vision board because it just has the whole thing. I keep looking at it and I keep manifesting. And the more I look at it, it gives me the motivation to work towards it. So I'm looking at it, I'm unconsciously registering the certain things I need to do. I'm reminded of certain things within those lists that I need to get done to achieve my goals. I need to have a visual representation of what your goals look like. It's travel, baby family career money all of that moving to a new city any picture you can find that represents those goals in your life put the picture together and stare at it every day manifest those things to come through in your life alongside you working on those goals like you're physically taking the steps the actions to work on those goals you should always be speaking life into those goals me gratitude and manifestation three of us best three ever but for the year 2024 we're taking it up a notch i will look at something and i'll tell you that i will get it yes i'll work towards getting it but because i am so strong in that belief of me getting it i will get it and i want you to have the same mindset next thing we're doing is showing up now this is huge especially for me there are certain areas that i drag my feet there are certain areas that i know that i should do but because obviously life happens sometimes you're tired sometimes you just don't feel like it sometimes you don't even know what you're doing sometimes you feel like you're doing something but at the end of the day it's not even resulting to anything like you're not seeing the result one thing i have told myself for the year 2024 is to show up just show up that's all you have to do if you're on a health journey if you're on a fitness journey if you're on a career path you know you want to be a youtuber you want to be a content creator all you just have to do is show up whether you know what you're doing whether you have the script whether you're tired just show up consistency is the key to success if you stop you will never get it you cannot put in just a little bit of something and just let it flourish you need to consistently put in the work and it will happen for you one of my motives for the year 2024 is to show up sometimes you might feel like you're just walking blind blindly into something or you just feel like is it even worth it you may not have the strength to keep going girl just show 
up. Make it a point, a mark, a dedication to show up even when you don't feel like it. Try your best to show up and just leave the rest because I assure you it will definitely pay off. Consistently putting videos out there, consistently talking about your craft, consistently doing what you are doing, baking, cooking, showing up at work, whatever it is that you want to do, no matter how difficult it might be to actually do those things when you're not even achieving anything from it, just show up. And one of the biggest and major things for this year 2024 that i have made it a point in my life and i'm also telling you guys to make it a point in your life to prioritize this is reset and rest days weeks and months if you have you know the opportunity to do months because i know a lot of us taking months to reset or even weeks to reset could be a lot considering that you know we have to make ends meet but rest is essential 2023 i took a little more rest than i would normally take rest in my life it was good and bad for me because it was good because obviously i was taking rest but it was bad in a sense that i feel like my body was purging it was like releasing all the things that has been you know stored piling up for years and i didn't release because i was just focused on so many other things than my health and my mental space i didn't understand the importance of rest until last year my health told me sit the fuck down in 2023 you you don't understand how important it is until you get to that point where your body cannot move anymore and then you begin to ask yourself what was the essence because at that point nothing else matters you just want to be fine and i've been there i was there last year you can't physically do the things that you want to do now all you just want to do is be fine you know all you're just praying for is like i want to be healthy again okay i don't care about you know working hard getting this money i just want to be healthy you don't want to wait till you get to that point before you realize that you need reset and rest days and that's the reason why i'm telling you this today you need reset and rest days and i need you to take those days seriously in the year 2024 we have goals to achieve and i just spoke about that so i'm aware of that but we also have health to protect mental health to protect you want goals you want things to be done you want to achieve so much in your life but sis you need to rest and i need you to understand the essence of reset days declutter days detaching days resting days where you pull back from all the chaos the stress the work the goals the aspirations and you know what you do on those days you sleep eat and repeat that's all you do now one thing i do want to mention is it is completely okay to carry things over from one year to the other i feel like a lot of people beat themselves so much for actually not accomplishing things they set out to accomplish the previous year which i can understand where the negative emotion will come from because you really wanted to nail things to a t but honey it is completely fine your timeline is not god's timeline okay the most important thing is you have a goal set and you already started working on those goals it's good to carry it to flip it over when it's your time it's your time and the reason why it didn't work out for you in 2023 is because it wasn't your time yet and i want you to hold on to that so whatever it is you looked at in your previous vision board and you still want for your new vision board it is completely fine to move your goals over everyone has a timeline a path that is written and ordained by god we're not going to force those things we're not going to live faster push faster than our path or our destiny and i believe wherever point you are in your life is where you're supposed to be as long as you're doing the right thing you're working hard you have your head at the right spot you are on the right track and i don't want you to beat yourself up about what you're doing how you're doing it what is going bad what's not going bad you are fine let's talk about 2024 in the most beautiful way ever if there is anything you want to add to what i'm saying right now to you honey feel free to pause and add or speak as i speak your 2024 will be your best year it will be the year that you can confidently say i did it god did it i achieved everything that i wanted to achieve it will be your best year yet it will be the year where you have stability where you have clarity where you have true healing where you see yourself for you where you have self-realization where you are happy with who you are where you are what you're working towards what you've achieved and what you're going to achieve it is the year that you're going to see every rainbow every sunset every shining star every glow 
glitter. You're going to smell the roses. You're going to see every beautiful light in your life. You're going to see fresh oil, abundant blessings, all of this. And I hope and pray that as I am talking, you're accepting and not just accepting, you truly believe. Your mindset will help you open up your year in the most beautiful way ever. Your mindset will already start pushing and pulling things towards you. Believe that 2024 is your best year and it will indeed be your best year. Now that's pretty much everything that I have for you guys in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and also follow me on my socials. They are linked below. Instagram and TikTok. 2024 is the year. 2024 is your year. I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye. Those of you that are listening in your car, at your job, you at home, I don't care where you at. Turn this up right now, because we're about to go in. Hey.